If you want to get to GM, you need to, to put prefer being target on. Y'all keep blaming your teammates. Ah, you're so bad. Please stop queuing. And then you think to yourself, oh, I'm never going to climb to GM. Well, I can promise you as soon as you start observing yourself and your own actions, the SR will come. The first reason as to why you aren't climbing out of that gold rank is because you aren't watching your own gameplay back. Don't get me wrong, grinding rank can be a good way to get game sense, however, you get twice as much game sense from each game from watching your own POV back after you play that day. This will tell you tips like, oh, I should have been there instead of here, or I should have done this instead of that. It will help you a lot in the long run. If you are on PC, you can always just record the game, but if you're on PlayStation, Xbox, or even the Switch, there's a replay feature where you can watch yourself back, so no excuses. Also, a quick way to start your game sense building is by watching high-ranked streamers or videos on YouTube of full games to see the positioning and actions for certain situations. This can really only help you by searching something like Top 500 Blank Hero Gameplay on YouTube. It's actually what I used to do. They will post wins there where the hero had a good game and played well. Also, watching streamers that are high-leveled can give you lots of feedback by asking them questions. And if they talk about their thought process out loud, then you can also learn from that, but don't spam them. All right, this next one is a big one. If you naturally tilt easily and you're trying to climb only, stop playing competitive after two losses in a row. This will ensure that you will not go on a downward spiral because after two losses in a row, you can feel anxious, angry, and tilted. And when you are tilted, you play worse than normal. Having a clear mind and happy thoughts will make you play better and think for stronger actions. Tips for detilting though would be to walk around and get out from behind your screen. Put yourself in a different environment for a few seconds to forget about the anger. Take deep breaths and think about things like what you see in front of you or what you hear around you. This will take your mind off the tilt and anger. It was and is really hard for me to not see the number of SR be exactly reflective of my rank. So try not to worry about the number and try to play the game. Wins will come, losses will come, the number doesn't matter. Alt tracking can be so powerful in Overwatch. Overwatch is largely based around ultimates and the power that comes with them. If you are able to alt track certain ultimates, you can position yourself accordingly or do actions or save abilities accordingly for that ultimate to get the least amount of value possible. Practicing alt tracking will come with time, however, watching your own gameplay back can practice alt tracking for a second time. And if you're in the replay, you can literally see the enemy's alt percentage to get further assistance until you're better at it in game by yourself. Let's do an example. So here, attack on Hanamura point A. It's already been two minutes into the round and no one on the enemy team is alted. I'm pressing tab a lot to see what enemies they have and what ultimates they could have. They should probably have shatter and grab at least. So I know not to play on the ground to get shattered. And I also know to play max beam range from someone so that I do not get caught in a grab. And that's what I do. Now that I know that they've used these ultimates and I don't get caught in them, they won't have them for next fight and I don't have to worry about them for the short time being. You can start alt tracking by pressing tab before and after each fight to see the enemy team's heroes and what alts they have used or what else they have not used within the last one to two minutes. It's almost like a memory game, but if you hear one of those alt voice lines, it's high noon. Intake that and realize they've used this alt for this fight, so they will not have it for the next one. Keep rotating this with other heroes and important ultimates that may be deadly for you. Let me tell you, looking around massively impacted the way I played Overwatch and my rank. Looking around doesn't necessarily mean getting your bearings, but literally looking to where your team is for when you need assistance or when your team needs assistance, as well as where the enemy team will come from so that you are ready for it. You can have so much pressure and can provide so much more information to yourself and your team if you look around to get the full view of the situation at hand. When combining the last two, you can know where the enemy far is by looking around and ready to shut down her barrage because you were all tracking that. If you combine all five of these tips into your Overwatch lifestyle, I can promise you that you will climb. This is how I did it and this is how you can do it too. By the way, if you are a support player but don't know how to maximize value on Brig, check out my Brig guide in the card in the top right for the ultimate top 500 Brig guide. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. But you can also stop by one of my Twitch streams. I stream every day at 6 p.m. EST, except for Tuesday and Saturday. Hold me close till I get up.
Time is barely on our side.